The Ganera plant. There are 63 different species, mostly native to Latin America, Australia, New Zealand, Papua Asia, Hawaii, Southeast Asia, Africa, and Madagascar, and the stalks are edible. One of the most fascinating things about the Ganera plant is the symbiotic relationship that these plants can have to cyanobacteria. The cyanobacteria provide fixed nitrogen to the plant, while the plant provides fixed carbon to the microbe, and these relationships evolved over millennia, when less than ideal nutrients were found in the soil, allowing the species to thrive in challenging conditions. So underneath the leaves, you will find some bacteria that are growing underneath these fan leaves in order for them to be able to have a carbon and nitrogen exchange. So the bacteria will benefit by having the nitrogen and the plant will benefit by having the carbon. And so these two exchanges allow for a very interesting symbiotic relationship. And because of that, they help each other with nutrients. And usually they work together when there's not enough nutrients in the soil. And this is a fascinating thing for me because if you think about it, two different types of species are coming together to co-create their world together, to be able to thrive together, even in challenging circumstances. So if there's a little bit of this bacteria that's naturally found in this area and happens to find its way to this plant, then they can both together thrive because they're both giving each other a benefit. So I'm wondering then when we apply this to humans as a metaphor, what types of relationships have you cultivated to be able to thrive during times of adversity or during times of resistance? So if you would like to leave comments below, I'd be interested in knowing what your journey is in regards to how you interact with others or types of things in the universe when it comes to facing adversity or having a symbiotic relationship with another person or thing.